Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijutel Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make this summer flowers bracelet and it is a beginner friendly project. If you're new here consider subscribing with the bell for more tutorials similar to this one. Check description for useful resources and a Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. Thank to all of you that like, share and comment. This is a great and amazing support and I can't thank you enough for these actions. You might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description. Now let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are four colors of 11 ohm seed beads, white, pink, red and green. Here I'm also using a clasp and a jump ring. This is nylon Island thread that is 0.3 millimeters or size D. Here I'm using size 10 beading needle, scissors and these are pliers that are not obligatory but you could use them to attach your jump ring to your work and go through the difficult beads. Okay guys and what I'm going to take first on my needle are 12 seed beads. And I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is to make a knot. And how I'm making it, I make a loop. I go twice through the loop I've made and I pull gently. Then I could do one or two more knots. Now I go through the next few beads in this direction. And I have this. And in my next step guys, what I want to take on my needle are three pink beads, eight white beads and three pink beads. This is what I have and I'm going to slide those down here to the red part. Now I'm going to skip the red bead that's on my way and I'm going through the following. You see what I do and I pull. And I'm taking absolutely the same sequence. Three light pink beads, eight white beads and three light pink beads. And as I'm exiting from this red one, I skip one and I go through the following. Okay, now I have this. Skip one and go through the following. And this is the last step that I'm making. And you see where I go through the very first red bead that I started my row from. Okay, and I pull. Now, what I'm going to do, guys, is go through three beads in this direction. Three of those. And I take a red, a pink and a red and I go here in the same place through the third light pink bead counting from the center but now from the outside to the inside. And I need a green bead and I'm going again through the third pink counting from the center but now from the inside to the outside and now red pink red and from the outside to the inside through this pink one you see uh, 
if your petals flip like this turn them in this direction and this is how you should go through them okay now I need a green bead and I go from the center to the outside A red pink red and from the outside to the center and through the third bead third pink bead counting from here and I need a green one and go in this pink And I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. Okay guys and now I finished this row and what I'm going to do next is go through two white beads in this direction. Okay, I'm two white beads away from the pink part and I'm going to take a red bead and I go here through this pink in the middle. Another red. and go here through the second white bead okay then I take two green beads go here through the second white counting from the pink part one red go in the pink one red go in the second white from the outside to the inside two greens second white one red middle pink one red second white two greens second white and one red pink one red second white Okay, and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row and when I'm ready, I'll meet you here. If you forget how I'm doing it, just rewind the video, do this and meet me. Okay, guys, and here I am at my last step where I'm adding my last two beads from this row. Now this is what I have. This flower pops out from this side, as you may see. And this is like the back side of the flower. I mean these middle parts of the petals pop out from this side. Okay. Then what I want to do is go through all of those beads here. Exit through the green ones. And then two white beads away after the green ones. And I take three greens, my clasp and three more green beads. And as I'm exiting here, two white beads away after the greens, I go again two white beads before the greens. And I attached in this way my 
clasp and now I'm going to reinforce it. Okay, and after I reinforce it, I will find the place to make a knot. I'm making it, let's say, here. I make a loop between two of my beads. I go twice through the loop I've made, I pull, then I go through some beads in this direction, just like this. I cut my thread, and now my flower is ready, and I want to cut this tail thread as well. So the beginning of my bracelet is ready. Okay guys, and what comes next is to make another flower like this one. Okay, here it is. Pause and do this flower, which is absolutely the same as this one, but I still haven't cut my tail thread. And I just added these two green beads and I am two white beads away from this pink part here. Then what I want to do is go through three more white beads in this direction. Okay. Now I'm going to meet those two flowers like this and I want to show you how to connect them. You see, you should connect these two petals with these two petals, which are the opposite petals of this one where I attached my clasp. And how I do this, I take two green beads and I go here in these two middle white beads of the eight whites that I have. You see here I have one, two, three beads, these two, and then one, two, three beads. So these two are the middle ones of the eight that I have at my petal, eight whites that I have at my petal. Okay, and I have this. Then I'm going to take one green bead, just one green, and I go back through these two white beads, the middle two whites. I'm connecting the middle two whites of my petals. Now I have this. Then I will go one more time in this direction through as many beads as I can in one movement. And now again, I want to exit one, two, three, four, five white beads away. Counting from the pink part, one, two, three, four, five beads away. I take two green beads and I go again through these two middle white beads of the eight that I have. You see where I'm going? And I pull. Then I take one green bead and I go backwards through these two whites. Then one more time through here, one more time through here, just reinforcing my work. And when I'm ready, I will find a place to make a knot and cut my thread. How I do this, I make here a loop, go twice through the loop I've made, pull. I go through some beads in this direction. I might want to repeat this knot one more time. A loop, go twice, pull go in the next few beads and then cut your thread 
And what I'm going to be doing, guys, from now on is absolutely the same thing that I showed you here. I will make another petal like this one and I will attach it to this one absolutely the same way that I attached this one to this one. Okay, and I will continue until I have six elements. You could do less or more elements. When I make six elements, I have about six inches of bracelet without the clasp and uh, for my wrist it is enough but uh, you might want to add one more element if you want a bigger bracelet but or you could put an extension chain okay i'll add the other four elements and i'll be back okay guys and as i continued adding more and more elements this is what i have my bracelet has six elements now and I'm exiting here where I just connected it to the previous element. Now, what I want to do next is go in this direction through all of those beads and exit here at this side. Now, as I'm two white beads away from the green beads, I'm going to take five green beads and my jump ring, and I will go two white beads before the green part here. Then I will go back reinforcing this joint here. Here I'm going through two beads, skipping the middle one and going through the next two. In this way I'm popping out the, a little bit the middle one. It's not an obligatory step, but if you want you could do it. Okay, then I come here and what I want to do is to make a knot and cut my thread. And how I do this, I make here a loop. I go twice through the loop I've made. I make sure I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from and I pull. And then I go through some beads in this direction and I cut my thread and now guys my bracelet is ready okay guys and now my summer flowers bracelet is ready so if you'd like it you obviously could subscribe for more content if you still haven't you could also like share and comment in this way you help me so much and you make me continue doing more and more videos like this check description for useful resources and a facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials i will be so happy to see them thank to all of you that like share and comment this is a great and amazing support you might also want to support me in paypal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching